So if you've been following Unity, you know that last week was Unit LA and they announced a lot of cool stuff and one thing in particular was the visual effect graph. It seems a lot of people want to get to use that but they don't know how to so that's what I'm going to do right now. Just a quick run through of how to get it set up and start using it. So what's going to be in this video is how to get the visual effects graph and how to create a simple effect with the visual effects graph. So to get the VFX graph, you simply scroll all the way to the bottom, click download now, it's going to take you to GitHub. Click right here, clone or download and download zip. You could clone it, I'd recommend just downloading it. So the next thing you'll want to do after you download it is get the package from your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded it to. Go into the root folder for the project you want to add it to and you go to packages and just, just paste it in. And after it's done, you just extract here. So now that that's done, we're just going to delete this folder. We don't need that. We open this one and we're only going to need a couple of folders out of this. We're going to need the pipeline score, high definition render pipeline, because that's what the VFX graph runs on right now. It's coming to lightweight in a future release, but it's not there right now. Shader graph, it's a dependency for high def and lightweight and we're going to need the VFX graphics course. So I'm just going to cut those out and paste those right here. Delete this because we don't need that anymore. After that's deleted, just open up the project and it should be good. Okay. So as you can see, I have just the default HDRP template scene open and now we're just going to create a particle effect. So we just, we can right click here, create or create, you know, just the usual way you create stuff and you go to visual effect, visual, visual effect graph, and just going to name this test graph. And as you can see over here, we have some particles spawning. So let's drop this in our scene and it's spawning over there, but we want it somewhere right here. And as for the rest of this, we'll just take the ground and disable all of that. All right. So now that we have our particle, uh, let's open it in the graph. So to do that, you can double click on this open right here, or if you have it selected, just click edit. Either one works. Just double click on it, open. And as it loads up, actually, let's dock this right here. Let's pull this over a little bit. And let's just get this right here, you know. That's enough for us to see our effect. And everything should be good. All right, so let's get this back in view. Okay, so as you can see right here, it's a pretty basic layout you get when you create a system or an effect. And if you go to here, create and systems, you got the empty one and that's just empty graph with just two nodes in it. Initialize right here and, uh, an output. And, uh, this is the one that got created for us by default, this graph right here. So we already have it. So we don't need that. Okay. So we're going to make a simple particle effect just to demonstrate how to use this tool. And that effect will be some particles floating up, falling down by, with gravity and then colliding on a plane, right? So to do that, we don't even have to do much to this basic graph, except add a few nodes and change a few settings. And the first thing I'm going to change is the, the output, the, the texture and the output. So the visual effects graph comes with a couple of particle effects or actually a couple of textures that you can use some default textures. So I'm going to use the sphere, drag that on here. So now you can see it's spawning some spheres instead. So the next thing I'm going to do is edit this. So it's, it's at like 0.8 something right now. We're going to bring it just a little bit smaller and uh, something like, like that will be fine. And for this one, we're going to bring this down smaller as well. And I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but it should be fine soon. 
and in the update if you use shader graph this works the same the shortcuts and everything so you just press space and it brings up the the different nodes you can add and keep in mind this is um it depends on which one you select because if you select this and press space you get different blocks pertaining to the one you select and if you select out here you get different blocks as well and if you drag something out you only get what it can use so this can only use a 2d texture so it only shows you the node so this is really good to learn what you need to plug in where so if i drag this out again you'll see it it will only give you a curve another curve and this would be good if you're editing like multiple curves and you want them all to be the same you can plug all of that in and you only have one curve so let's go back with that delete that and we're gonna continue on with the effects so like i said we want the particles to go up be affected by gravity fall down and then collide so the first thing we're gonna add is gravity and that's in the update so now you can see it's going down let's grab this actually not that one this one we pull it up and as you can see is that there's not a lot of particles so let's let's turn this up some more so let's add like I don't know 3000 and these are GPU particles so it can handle like way more than that but I'm just adding 3000 for now and let's set this to 3000 as well and get rid of the two and as you can see it's a lot more particles now and if we go down here let's bring this down some more and we're going to add a collide and we're going to use a plane and as you can see it's colliding with itself because the plane is directly on the the particle effect so let's just bring the y down until it's basically like it's colliding on this plane so i mean that's pretty much it you know we could also actually not as fine okay so now we're just gonna change the color because we don't you know we don't like that color right so let's, let's change this to blue i mean why not let's give it right there kind of a light blue and let's put this to like 1.5 so we get that that bloom effect and let's add this one to orange you know and this one we're gonna put to two 2.5 all right so actually let's add one more in the middle and let let's make this one green so you there you go green let's put this down to uh, 1.5 as well okay so as you can see it's just the default nose and just a few of these two and some changes and you have something like this already you know it's pretty easy to learn the visual effects graph and I mean I'm no expert at making <laughs> particles or visual effects but I'm actually new but the way I learned was I came in here I looked through a lot of stuff and messed with a lot of stuff but this right here this was the one that I learned a lot of stuff from if I disable this one and zoom out you can see that's also a really basic graph and you can get something like this so don't let this fool you like you can do a lot with it especially when you're going to do more advanced effects like that's when it will get crazy but you can do some pretty cool stuff with just some simple blocks already but yeah uh, I'll, I'll suggest just go in open this up look at uh some examples you know that pe other people make look at the examples in here and learn from it if you already know this stuff then i mean this should feel pretty much at home for you you know maybe you gotta realign to some concepts in here but other than that it should be should be good for you and also before i go if there's any advanced users that's gonna be using this and you notice anything or some feature missing let's go into forms just come down here leave some feedback about the new system you know what you think could be improved and all of that and what do you think is missing so all of this can be better 
Alright, and that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this was able to help some of you guys out. Thank you.